So you might be in a position where you wanted to go ahead and increase your FPS and or your frames per second on your specific Xbox One. Now one thing I'll definitely tell you is whether you have the standard original one or the One X, these are a little bit of an older console. So sometimes there can be some issues where if you're you know watching this video five years from now and you're trying to play the latest game, there were, there can still be some issues, but these are still very powerful consoles for now. So you should be able to get some decent power from them. Now the first thing I would recommend doing is just making sure your Xbox is fairly up to date for the most most part without having to enable any like the FPS boost or anything like that that's standard within Xbox just making sure if you're having lots of glitches within your Xbox or anything like that making sure you're on one of the more recent versions of your Xbox software can pretty much help fix this type of issue for the most part you know as well now another big thing that I've seen lots of people kind of you know get into with their specific device is actually with their surrounding of their Xbox One and the ventilation of it. So what this means basically is with your Xbox, if you have a ton of things around it, you know, if you have tons of like, you know, boxes and a like bookshelf and there's not a lot of, you know, room for that console to breathe, well, that can probably be one of the main issues that you may be running into as well. So if you want to, what I would recommend doing is just clearing out the area next to the Xbox making sure it has enough room to breathe and everything like that, and you should be good to go for the most part. Now, another big thing that you may run into is that your fans within your Xbox One, maybe there's some issues there, but also there may be some issues with a lot of dust and just a lot of dust buildup within your specific Xbox One. So what you may want to do is just kind of clean out your fans with the outside. You don't have to take it apart. Just look at the back of the console. Make sure, again, there's not a lot of dust behind it, because if there's a lot of dust there, that can also kind of cause some issues and slow down and overheat your console for the most part as well. Now, those are the main things I'd recommend doing to increase the FPS a little bit on your Xbox One. But a majority of these things, again, if you have updates available for your console and or you have updates available for your games, I would recommend going through and updating those and that may end up fixing the situation as well. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.